Watch this, read. Surah, chapter 27, verse 12. If thou be among the indiscreet, if thou be among the indiscreet, meaning those who don't, don't keep the commandments, read. Observe the time, means observe. Look at the time, would you look at the time? I gotta go. Right. That's what you gotta tell the indiscreet. I gotta keep it moving. I'm, I'm not with that no more. Right. You say, whether, whether you say it directly or indirectly so that you don't offend them or whatever, you keep it moving. Observe the time, meaning cut it short. Why? Because you're gonna fall into that same lifestyle you just came out of. You wanna come out of that. Uh, you don't wanna be in that same lifestyle. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. To get built up, all right? Your wife has to come around the sisters so that she can get built up, so that she can learn how to conduct herself and how to be, how to, how to keep the Lord's statutes and commandments. That's right. Because I see they got the dresses on, but what's next? The fringes. The fringes. All praises to the most high. But what? We have sisters in the school that can help your wife learn how to sew the fringes. All right? We can't teach you that out here. We can tell you to put on the fringes, but we can't teach you how to do it. All right? So we got to start building ourselves up, organizing ourselves, right. all right? It starts here in the streets, but what? Now we got to come together like Zephaniah, give me Zephaniah 2 and 1, all right? Because what? We see our people stricken with madness. We see our people diseased and, and, and sick in the head, on strung out on drugs, homeless, alcoholics, right? We got to help them. Lewis, I know you are pillar in the community. Because I see a lot of people know you. They come and salute you, they greet you, right? So now, you got to be that shining light, Lewis. you got to be that example in the community. You have to show them how to change. If Lewis can do it, they can do it. You understand? Watch this. Read. Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. What does the Bible say? Gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather together, O oh, nation not desired! Gather together, O oh, nation not desired! We're not desired! Nobody wants us! We're the first, first, first fired, last hired! Alright? So nobody wants to be around us, that's why we're in the ghettos, okay? They, you know how we know they don't want to be around us? Because they come and move into our communities, right? And then what? They kick us out. Right. It's called gentrification. Bring it out. All right, but what? If we unify, if we come together, we can build our own communities where nobody can kick us out. Right. All right? But Louis, Raheem, you have to be that example. You have, it starts with you. All right? Psalms, chapter 119, verse 107. Bring it out. I am afflicted very much. I am what? I am afflicted very much. Look at that sister across the street. She's afflicted very much. Every Sabbath we come out here, she gets worse and worse. We see the gradual decline in our community of our people. All right? What does the Bible say? I am afflicted very much. Israel is afflicted very much. Read. Quicken me. Oh. What? Quicken me. Quicken me. Heal me quickly. Quicken me. Change me. 
That's what that's what we, we ask the most high to do. This is the prayer. You understand? Quicken me very much. Why? Because we see the sickness of our people. We see the condition of our people. We see our people stricken with madness, stricken with blindness. That they don't know who they are according to the scriptures. Read. Quicken me, O oh Lord, according unto thy word. According to what? According unto thy word. According unto thy word. According to this Bible, we have to change our people. Lewis, we see you, Lewis. We see you wanting to change. And I heard you talking to Raheem. You said you're waiting until you get your fringes. Don't wait until you get your fringes. Don't wait until you're stricken. Go into the hospital and get healed. That's what the Bible is telling you. Quicken me very much. We must come together. Give me Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 24. This is for Lewis and Raheem. And 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 to uh, and put it in an extension to the family. All right, watch this. Read Hebrew chapter ten, verse twenty-four. And let us consider one another. Let us what? And let us consider one another. We must consider one another. Lewis, Raheem, and family. We must consider one another. Read to provoke unto love and to good works. To what? Unto love and to good works. To provoke unto love and good works. That love is the keeping of the commandments. Right. That good works is the keeping of the commandments. We are provoking you. We are telling you, we are teaching you to love and good works. This is why Raheem is able to have his family repent. As if why his wife in dresses, your daughter, right? Your daughter in dress. Lewis, we see you growing your beard. Lewis, you're faithfully coming to us on the Sabbath because you want to be healed. You want to be quickened. You want to be changed, right? But now what? Watch this. Read. Not forsaking. Not what? Not forsaking the assembling of the what? The assembling Bring it of up. ourselves together. The assembling of ourselves together. This is a beautiful assembly because the scriptures say, where um, one or two are gathered in my name, there am I, right? So the Most High is dealing with us here in this corner. But what? Now we got to assemble ourselves because it's the Sabbath. Come together with like-minded individuals so the sister can see, see, see other sisters. All right? The young sister can see young sisters. You can see more brothers. How we, how we um, deal with one another. How we, um, how we get along. How we build ourselves up. All right? How we... How we um, deal with our children. How, um, this is what we must do. You're not going to see that just here on this corner for an hour or two. So you must assemble. We must assemble ourselves. Right. Why? Because nobody wants to be around us. Oh, nation not desired. So what? Get, now we must gather together. That nation that's not desired, gather together. Assemble on the Sabbath. Build. Organize. Strategize. All right. How are we going to keep these commandments? How are we going to raise our people up, all right, so that the other nations can see and have fear? Because that's what happens when we, they see the multitude of us keeping the commandments. That brings fear on the other nations. Why? Because they want to see our people like that lady strung out on drugs. They want to see our people high. Why? Because if you're high, you're, you're no threat. You're harmless. You're only destroying yourself. You're only destroying your community. But when they see you strong and assemble together like an army, that's when they're afraid. All right? They don't want to see that. That's why they inject us with all kinds of vaccines and drugs. All right? Coronavirus affecting us mainly. Why? Because they want to see us defenseless. All right? That's why they say we're not a nation. We're a nation not desired. They call us different names to what? Separate us. Because together, we're strong. Together, we're unified. Right. Separate, we're weak and defenseless. That's so what, we're, what must we do? Read. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is. As the manner of some is. Some people, they'll walk by, they hear us week after week, but they don't want to come together. But Lewis is, is taking strides. Raheem is taking strides with his family. And no praises to the Most High. That's what we love to see. Right. All right? But now, we got to get to know you, Raheem. We got to get to know you, Lewis, more. All right? Sit down with you and talk to you. And see how we can help you. How you can help us. All right? 
If you if you need help getting fringes, we can help you get fringes, um, Lewis. Good. But you must come into the assembly. Why? Give me um, Sirach chapter 12. This is what this is why we must have you come into the assembly. We must get to know you. Why? Because we don't allow strangers to come into your house, right? You first you must get to know them, right? And then what? And then if, 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 if we see that they're righteous and they're sincere, we deal with them, right? That's what we want to find out with Lewis and Raheem and family. Watch this. Read. Sirach chapter 12 verse 1. When thou will do good. When thou do what? When thou will do good. When thou will do good. Read. Know to whom thou doest it. Know to whom thou doest it. We must know whom we're going to do, do good to. We know Lewis is a brother that wants to repent. We know Raheem is a brother that wants to repent. Why? Because you've been here multiple times. We've seen Lewis trying to grow his beard. We've seen Raheem with his beard. Raheem even brought us water one Sabbath. Why? Because he saw us teaching and he wanted to do good to the to the prophets of the Most High. All praises. But watch this. Read. So shalt thou be thanked for thy benefits. So shall thou be thanked for thy benefits. If we help you, Lewis, get your fringes, you're going to thank us. And you're going to... Pray to the most side to, to bless us for helping you. Watch this. Read. Do good to the godly man. Do good to who? To the godly man. No, anyone strung out on drugs. To the godly man. To the godly man. That man that wants to repent. That man that wants to keep the commandments. That sister that wants to keep the commandments. Read. And thou shalt find a recompense. And thou shalt what? Find a recompense. You shall be blessed. A recompense is a payback, a blessing. Read. And if not from him, and if not from the person you help, like Lewis or Rahim and family, read. Yet from the Most High. The Most High sees the good that you do to his people. Right. He will bless you. Read. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil. If our people want to be out here strung out on drugs and don't want to repent after hearing this word, no good is going to come to them. They're going to wax worse and worse. Right. And that's what we see with our people. Right. We've seen the gradual decline of that sister, the other brother and his wife that walk around here on 116th and Lexington. We see them, we like, dang, they keep getting worse and worse. Why? Because they've stood right before the prophets of the Most High where you are, Raheem and Lewis, and they refuse to change. Ezekiel 33 verse 32, watch this. It feels good to our people to hear the word. It sounds good for them to hear that they Israel, but to keep the commandments, they don't want to do it. Why? Because they don't want to change. They don't want to separate themselves from the flock that's going the wrong way. You understand? That lost sheep. But that's what the Bible calls it. The lost sheep but no pastor. But what? The pastors are right here guiding our people and many of them don't want don't want to repent. They don't want to change. Right. Watch this. Read. Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 32. And lo, thou art unto them as a lovely song. We are unto our people as a lovely song. Read. Of one that hath a pleasant voice. Yeah, we have a pleasant voice. They love to hear the word of God. Read. And can play well on an instrument. They, we, we can bring out precepts. We can bring out this Bible, the history. Teach them that they Israel. They love to hear that. That instrument. Read. For they hear thy words. They hear our words. Read. But they do them not. But what? They do them not. But they do them not. But you, Raheem, you want to keep the Sabbath with your family. You want to see your, 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 your family repent. Lewis, you want to repent. You want to wear the fringes. So now, you got to come to the school. So that, that's that next step. You understand? That's that next step to repentance, towards repentance. Coming around like-minded people. Watch this, because if you don't, if you don't come, come around us, the, the Israelites, the like-minded people, to keep the commandments, you're gonna go around family members and friends who what? They break the Sabbath, they, they, they might be smoking, they might be drinking, they'll be buying and selling, talking about all kinds of ungodly things. You understand? And what? It's gonna make you weak. You might you might fall back to that same that same um, conversation, that lewd conversation, that ungodly conversation. And you're gonna you're gonna forget about God's law, statutes, and commandments. But if you steadily around individuals that keep the commandments and that build you up, it's gonna strengthen you. All right? You're not, you're not gonna be as weak. So next time you come around those people, you're like, nah, I don't do that no more. That's not me. 
that was me, but not anymore. I'm right. about these laws, statutes, and commandments now. Right. You should listen to this. Do you know that you're an Israelite? And now, now your light is starting to shine among, among your people. You understand? Watch this. Read. Surah, chapter 27, verse 12. If thou be among the indiscreet, if thou be among the indiscreet, meaning those who don't, don't keep the commandments, read. Observe the time. Means observe. Look at the time, would you? Look at the time. I gotta go. Right. That's what you gotta tell the indiscreet. I gotta keep it moving. I'm, I'm not with that no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whether you say it directly or indirectly so that you don't offend them or whatever, you keep it moving. Observe the time, meaning cut it short. Why? Because you're going to fall into that same lifestyle you just came out of. You want to come out of that. All right? You don't want to be in that same lifestyle. Watch this. Was that what is the more? But be continually. But what? But be continually. Continually. Meaning, Raheem, you see these brothers, you, you, you've been around here, Lewis, you've been around us. Take their number down in case you got questions during the week. In case you feel weak during the week, you have somebody to call. Be continually with who? Among men of understanding. Yes. Among men of understanding. Men that can help you. Right. You understand, Lewis? So you gotta come to the school, take that step. Don't worry about the fringes. We'll help you get fringes. We'll get you a shirt with fringes, Lewis, so that you can start keeping the commandments, so that you can see how easy it is. It's not hard. First, first, uh, first John 5 and 3. Was there more? All right. Watch this. It's not hard keeping the commandments. The, the, the hard part, you already passed it. You already passed it. You already know you Israel. All right? People know. People, people are starting to see the change in you. Watch this. First John chapter 5, verse 3. Bring it out. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we what? that we keep his commandments. So one of the commandments is assembling ourselves together. That's a commandment, coming together on the Sabbath. All right, read. And his commandments are not grievous. His what? And his commandments are not grievous. God's commandments are not grievous. It's not hard to keep. Take the bus. You, if you have a vehicle, take a ride. It's not that far from here. It's like what? 20 minutes, 25 minutes from here. Lewis, you can take the the the, the bus. You, you're a senior citizen, you can take accessoride. They'll take you over there. You understand? It's not grievous, Lewis. And they'll pick you up. All right? And we'll make sure you get on that and on that ride safe and sound. You understand? Right. Was there more? All right, go back to um, Hebrews chapter 10, verse, verse 25. Watch this, because what? I love to see our people learning and wanting to learn and the change, but now you got to come around us so that we can get to know each other more. See if, we are, if we're sincere, see if you're sincere, see where you need help, where you need help, all right? Because there's levels to this, there's stages to this, read. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25, Bring it out. not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together. So we can't forsake it, meaning we can't put that off, the assembling of ourselves together, why? Because you know today is the most high Sabbath. You know today is the day we come together. They're already trying to keep us separate and in our houses locked up with this COVID quarantine, right? So we gotta take this time and opportunity while it is, while it is yet day for what? To come around each other, right. keep the commandments, assemble, so we can strengthen ourselves. Read. As the manner of some is. Some, some, some of our people, they like to be loners and separatists, right? Read. But exhorting one another. But what? Exhorting one another. Meaning exhorting one another is, is um, building ourselves up. Raheem, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you strong right now. You know why? Because you got your family with you. A lot of brothers, they come in and their wives don't want to come in with them. So what happens? The, the family is, is broken up. But all praises to the Most High. The Most High is allowing you to come in with your family, your daughter. All right? Some of us, we didn't have that opportunity. Why? Because our families didn't want, didn't want to hear this truth. All right? Can I say something? Go ahead, brother. I, I do have a son that's 19. Right. I'm having a little problem with him because, you know, um, I, I guess because at his age and, and the timing of us coming into the school, right. I was 
know, he done seen me smoke weed and do right. a whole bunch of things, you know, that now he's doing. Right. But now I'm trying to get him on the right uh, and straight path. And I'm, you know, I'm having a little issue with that. But I'm, I'm praying to God that, you know, that he, he come to himself. Matthews 5, 14 and then Matthews 10, 34. Because what? He got to continue to see the change in the family. Right. And maybe, maybe when he sees the change in, in you guys, right. he's going to want to repent. Right. If my family's keeping these laws, let me keep these laws. Right. I saw how my father, he was, he used to smoke weed or drink or whatever and just watch sports on the Sabbath. Now he's serious about the Lord's work. Right. All right. He see that you want to build your nation up. Right. He's, he, he may bring, you may, um, you may provoke them to, to, to prevent, to, to provoke them to good works. Right. You understand? Watch this. Matthew 5, 14. Let your light shine. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. That light is the commandments. When, the, when, when your son sees you with your beard, with your fringes, and your wife with her dress on, your daughter with her dress on, and your head covered, that's that light to the world. Why? Because our people, you can't tell. They don't, you can't tell that they're repentant Israelites. They may know in their mind that they're Israel, but what? Just by the way they dress you, you can't tell. All right? Because you got women in pants, men in dresses. All right? But that light is going to show you that, that you're keeping the commandments. Read. Bro. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Meaning once you know you Israel, you can't hide it. Now you gotta let your light shine. Let your light shine. For the world that's in darkness and gross darkness, all right, that's what the scriptures say. The world is in darkness and we're in gross darkness, meaning total darkness, why? Because we're in amongst the darkness of the world and we don't even know who we are. All right, we don't even know what we, what we must do to, to come out of that darkness. We're out there groping at noonday when the sun is at its highest. That's what the Bible is describing us. We're groping. We don't feel in the walls trying to find our way around. And we can't. Why? Because our light is not shining. So we got to let our light shine. Read. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. So when you light a candle, you don't put it under a bushel. Why? Because it's not going to give off that light. What do you do? But on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. So you put that light on a candlestick, and it giveth light to who? Unto all that are in the house. Unto all that are in the house. This is your house. Your wife and your daughter and your son. So when your son comes over and he sees dad ain't eating pork no more, dad ain't smoking weed, dad ain't drunk or whatever, dad is keeping the Sabbath, he, you lighten that, you shining your light in your house. All right, there's no more darkness in the house. So it may bring your son to repentance. So you ask the most high to, to, to bring your son in. But don't worry about it if he doesn't. Just have faith that he will. You understand? You can only save you, Raheem. Your wife can only save herself. Your daughter can only save herself. But by you keeping these commandments and being an example, all right, your, your job is done. You understand? Continue to be that, that, that guiding light. Read. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. That they may see your good works. Read. And glorify your Father which is in heaven. Glorify the Most High who, put, who made that change in you and your family. All right? Read. Is there more? Give me Matthew 10, verse 34. This is why I said don't worry about your son. All right? Because I have a daughter that's in the world. She's 21 years old. She refuses to keep the commandments. But what? All I have to do, all I, all I can do is when I talk to her, tell her what to do. Keep the commandments. If she doesn't, it's on her. But my hands is clean. You understand? Watch this. Read. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. You know? Think not that I think not that I have come to send peace on earth. So Christ didn't come to bring peace on earth. What did he come to do? I came not to send peace, but a sword. He came to bring a sword. Why? Because our people are stiff-necked, rebellious. Two-thirds of our people have to die, the Bible says. So Christ is not coming with flowers. He's not coming to bring peace. He's bringing a sword. Read. For I come to set a man at variance. I come to set a man at variance.
enemies. Against who? Against his father. Against who? Against his father. And the daughter. Against his father. And the daughter what? And the daughter. Against her mother. And the daughter-in-law. Against her mother-in-law. So the Christ came to divide the house. Why? Because there's going to be some people in the house keeping the commandments. Others are not going to be keeping the commandments. So there's going to be variance. There's going to be strife. You understand? Read. And a man's fool. A man's what? And a man's fool. A man's enemies' foes. Read. Shall be they of his own household. Shall be they of his own household. So that's going to be your battle. It's not going to be... The people in the street, no, it's going to be your family members. It's going to be your wife, Lewis. It's going to be your children, Lewis. It's already. Yeah, it is already. We all went through it. But what? That's going to be your trial. That's going to be your test of faith. You understand? To see if you really about it. To see if you really believe in this Bible. You understand? They used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth